It's a rat, it's a rat, it's a rat. There is a rat right there in that tube. Hey, welcome back to the Introvert Circus. So today's gonna be a different sort of vlog. This is vlog footage from going to try barn hunt for the first time with Miss Sirius. We had so much fun. I already posted uh, just a clip of the barn hunt experience we had, but I wanted to do a little more in-depth conversation. This was driving up there. I went with my friend who is an amazing other dog person who lives locally and was like, let's road trip up together. So we did with her, two of her French bulldogs and Sirius. So we drove up to Washington to go to a open barn hunt practice and it was so much fun but I wanted to walk you guys through what it was like a little bit because I think one of the challenges sometimes with dog sports is that they are intimidating especially if you are new to sports or even new to a sport I've been doing dog stuff for 20 plus years and I was still absolutely nervous to walk into that barn to do something I had never done before with a group of dog people I didn't know so I thought I'd show you at least what it was like for us in this experience so the way this group structured it is that novice dogs were brought into a separate stall area and got the chance to one at a time be introduced to a rat in a more open sort of metal container. The rats are all completely safe in barn hunt. They are really well treated and get lots of enrichment. So this was the opportunity for Sirius just to get to see the rat. And you can see she wasn't really sure quite what to think about it. Uh, it was us and I think like six other dogs in this little area. And she was just like, there's a rat in there. What do you want me to do about it? She's a dog that has, I would say, a quite high prey drive for a Newfoundland. Um, but I think this situation, she wasn't quite sure about it because it wasn't moving. She was just like, I, it's there. What do you want me to do? Uh, so this was a great opportunity though, just to, to see her get to recognize, okay, there is a rat here. I see that interesting. Uh, and she definitely was just looking at me like, what, what should I do about this? So it was a great opportunity though, to just see what her initial experience with it was. She was definitely much more subdued than a lot of the other dogs, um, who were getting introduced to the rat, which makes sense. She was just like, it's there. I see it. And that sort of hunched, um, sort of, uh, sniff is what I think her natural alert for rats will end up being. And you'll see that, um, she demonstrates that a little bit too there. She got a little more excited about it. And was just not quite sure, but was a little uh, a little excited. She also, I think, was a little nervous about the metal container because she can be a little weird about objects sometimes like that. So I think that was a bit of what was going on there. Uh, but it, this was how we all got started is everybody got a couple of minutes just to expose our dogs to the rat tube. Uh, and then it was time to go and get a little more exposure to what the actual search experience was gonna be like. Oh, this is a different angle of it. I forgot I'd handed my friend. Um, my friend was videoing on her phone and then I had thrown my phone um, very nicely at another person in the group. It's one of the wonderful things about dog sports is just be brave, ask somebody if they'll video for you. We all want video of our dogs doing cool things. Uh, and so most of the time people are really more than happy to um, video for you if they, they are not needing to do something else. And in this case, we were all a captive audience because we were taking turns introducing our dogs to the rat. So this is just that same video you already saw, except from a different angle. And again, every instructor and every group is gonna do things differently, but I thought it would be fun to bring you along and show you what our introduction to barn hunt looked like, just in case you've never done something like this before, just so you can get a sense of what it was like. I know for me, that can be really, really helpful to be less anxious and less nervous about trying something if I can watch ahead of time and have a sense of what it might be like. And that's something that's super important to me. I really, really strive as much as possible to make um, dog sports, or at least the dog sports I participate in as accessible as possible to people um, who are new to sports or new to that sport. So here we are going into the barn hunt ring for the first time and where there's a start box at the beginning, which is that matting and she needs to stop on it. I didn't realize at this point that she didn't need to be in like a stationary position. You'll see in our later runs that I'm actually revving her up because I think it's much more effective to get her going. But here I was sitting here and I was told that part of her body was off the box and that that would disqualify us if we were actually competing. And so I wanted to reposition her on the box and then we're good to go. So for this first search, she is on leash and it is uh, replicating an instinct test where she would go over to three tubes, one 
has bedding in it. One has an actual rat in it. And then she would alert to where the rat is. And here I am being a really bad handler. Rat. She, I needed to call rat. She went immediately to the tube. And here you can see she got bored because she's like, I told you where it was. I'm not really sure what this game is. But the first one she went to is where she stopped. And I was told that she um, was in fact afterwards that it was rat. And so bad on my part, it was rat. And she was like, yeah, I told you it was there. Um, this is one of those great moments of trust your dog, trust your dog, trust your dog. Um, and I just hadn't been sure what, the, I was the first uh, novice person to go in and I was still trying to figure it out and I was nervous and I just wasn't quite sure what was going on with it. Um, but yeah, I should have called right away that she went directly to the rat because she knew what she was doing. And there the uh, instructor was telling me it was rat. Okay, so then about 30 minutes later, it was our turn to go back in. And this was going to be mirroring a novice um, run. I don't actually know if it's called a run. I call everything a run because my very first dog sport, like 25 years ago, was agility. Um, so here, the instructor was just giving me sort of the overview of that we would have, like, if it was an actual um, trial. I think it was two minutes that we would have. And to do that, she needed to find the rat. She needed to get up onto the straw and she needed to go through the tunnel. So this was her first time getting exposed to everything else. And I was just giving her a chance to go in there and search for the rat. Uh, the instructor had also let me know that she had baited, uh, the rat this time with cheese. The last time she wouldn't, uh, it wasn't baited with cheese, but this time there was cheese also, um, there to help with the search. So here Sirius is getting to explore so in smells. the straw honestly um one of my big concerns with barn hunt was that she would pee on the straw she's definitely a girl who enjoys marking and i know that's something that a lot of people struggle with i actually heard uh some other handlers talking about it at the practice that that was something they were working on uh before their next trial and so i definitely thought she might pee and she didn't which felt like a massive win so here she is searching she definitely was trying to figure it out a little bit and get a sense of this was our longest uh run we did it again later and you'll see it much much, much faster. But here she was figuring out uh, what this looked like a little bit. And for Sirius, I was like, okay, she's kind of thinking about it like scent work in a lot of ways where she is like, okay, do you want me to alert to what it is? Okay, I can do that interesting it's here um but isn't like super herself very invested in the rat itself as opposed to some of the other dogs that were like it's a rat it is a rat right there and she's like mm, there's a thing here do you want to know about it and i'm like yes 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 ma'am i do want to know about it so here i was just being instructed to pick up the rat tube that's what the rats are in that are super safe um for them and to run backwards with the rat to get her um to chase me with it to help her to build drive and interest in the rat tube so that's what we did she had found the rat again there was cheese on it she was there very uncertain about the tube uh which was also something i thought that might be true for Sarah. she's like what is that so here she got a chance to sniff it up close again and be like "Ooh, rat okay cool that's what's in there um and we had such a good time. I just want to say that the club was incredibly welcoming and so, so, so accessible to beginners and helping us to get our dogs started in this sport. Uh, and that was something that was really lovely to see. It's so intimidating to try something new in general and certainly to try a new dog sport. Uh, so now that we found the rat, it was the opportunity to see her if she would go up on the straw. I was fairly confident that she would. Um, so just used uh, our trick skills for this. We used a pause up cue and she happily did that. And then she splunked off the side of it and then it was time to expose her to the tunnel now Sirius obviously knows what agility tunnels are and loves them uh but this is a little different the straw tunnel is darker it is smaller it's tighter and she's a big girl so she had to figure it out a little bit but as you can see it did not take long for her to figure it out and by her next run she was like oh this is my favorite I love this so here we were just getting her to see what the tunnel was and the um instructor who was helping us out with it just called her on through and Sarah's so just like will i fit and she was like mm, i don't know i don't know and then she helped me to get her attention so that i could call her through uh the tunnel which Sirius was then like oh oh you're gonna call me through oh i know what that is it's a tunnel i can do that 
And there she went, and the rest was history. Uh, definitely one of those moments where they were like, oh, she knows what an agility tunnel is. She is going to um, have an easier time mastering that. So something that I love about dog sports is the way they can build on each other, even when it is a different kind of activity. And as you can see, it was such an ex was supportive experience. So now this is our last time um, in the ring doing a run. This is the video that I uploaded right when we got home from Barn Hunt, but I wanted to upload it again in this video just to give you some intuition. Here we were. I sent her right through the tunnel to start with, which got her super jazzed up. That was my strategy. And I think if we compete in Barn Hunt will absolutely be my strategy because she does love tunnels. So then here is the opportunity for her to search for the rat. I did not know where the rat was this time. And this time the rat was not baited uh, with cheese. However, you'll see that she gets very, very stuck here. And at this point I was really focused on thinking about what was going on for my dog. And I was like, clearly there is something here even though it was just straw on the ground and I knew there was no way that the rat tube was there and then I was like what do you have I was trying to get her attention I was trying to treat it uh like a run of like don't touch your dog and then I was like no I'm gonna see what my dog has and what she in fact had was a giant clump of cheese that had been left from somebody else who had been um, running before us. And yeah. so I was like, good girl, you found the cheese. Good job. So then we went to search again. She decided to take herself right through the tunnel, which was absolutely adorable. That's my trick dog. Definitely tunnel suck is a real thing for her uh, in barn hunt as well. She's like, this is fun. So uh, now uh, my goal was to get her off of the spot where she found cheese and to get her searching for the rat. So now you can see her really start to get her nose engaged and to start searching. And thinking about it here, I also asked her to get up on the yes. straw because I was just trying to get her to refocus. And that's something she was going to have to do anyway to complete the run. And so we're going to, again, get her off the cheese uh, because obviously that was super rewarding for her that she had found a giant clump of cheese there before. Tunnel again because that's my girl. She thought the tunnel was great. And I was just thrilled she was happy to play and stay with me and be trying something new. And there you can actually see her get the scent of the rat. Uh, the rat is kind of in the middle of that section. There was a master level tunnel there that she thought about going into. I'm actually glad she didn't because it had a tight turn. I think she would have spooked herself. Uh, but you can see her here starting to sniff. Um, I was also really impressed at how well she was focusing on this. This is something she's never done before. And on the other side of that plywood wall, there were dogs running, I think, master's level um, barn hunt who were super exuberant. And there is the rat. You can see her alert there. Boom, pulled the rat uh, for her, got her to chase me out with it. I was super excited that we were able to get her to refocus after that. She's fine. She found the rat and had really great focus on it for her. And so it was really cool to see the different search styles the different dogs have. up Barn Hunt for the very first time. It was so much fun. We absolutely will be trying this again. I really, really loved seeing a new sport that we'd never played before. I love seeing Sirius get to experience that new sport and I had so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried Barn Hunt. I'd love to know what your dog thought of it. Also, let me know if you've tried a new sport recently. It was definitely intimidating, but it was so worth it. And once we got into it, I was able to see how much fun my dog was having and I was having fun with her. And it was just really cool to be figuring out something new together and to challenge myself to be paying attention to very different cues from my dogs than I'm used to in the sports that we generally are involved with. It was so, so cool. So I'm really looking forward to doing some more barn hunt practices. Maybe we'll enter a trial in the next year. We'll have to see. I definitely think that if I'm on my game and paying attention to her alerts, that she could definitely get her instinct title. Uh, and if we were lucky, we could maybe do decently in novice as well. Um, probably with a lot of extra tunnels. But the instructor told us that we were, even with that cheese find, we were actually very close to being in the allotted time. So if we hadn't had the whole debacle of the found cheese, I think she um, she would have been a lot faster. But it was such a good time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that if you have not seen Barn Hunt before, that it was interesting for you to get to see sort of behind the scenes of what at least our experience of an introduction to the sport was like. Again, let me know if you've done Barn Hunt. Let me know if you have any video requests and we'll see you again in another video very soon. And in the meantime, don't forget to have fun with your dogs.